Assalamu alaikum dear students. Hope you are well and happy. Welcome to NIEVS Home School. This is Fatma Sabir Shikha, Assistant Teacher of National Ideal English Version School, Morning Today I am going to take Bangladesh and Global Studies class for the students of Class 8 on the topic Chapter 1, Lesson 2 and 3. I'm repeating today our topic is chapter 1, lesson 2 and 3. Students, this is our second lecture for annual term and second homework. Now students, please take your textbook. We are going to read from your text chapter 1, lesson 2 and 3. So let's start. As I said, our today's topic is chapter 1, named Colonial Age and the Liberation War of Bengal. Today we will learn lesson 2 and 3. We will start our lesson from lesson 2, named the arrival of European and the expansion of trade in Bengal. European countries flourished for the discovery of mineral resources, expansion of sea trade and development in tech technical and commercial fields. So uh, the European came to uh, this uh, continent, uh, Indian continent, and they flourished for the discovery of mineral resources, expansion of sea trade and development in technical and commercial fields. A powerful trade revolution started from 14th century. As they came to this continent, uh, they used to grow powerful in trade and business and in trade and business they came bring a revolution and this revolution started from 14th century. In 1498, Vasco de Gama, a Portuguese sailor, reached Calico port of South India. So Vasco de Gama who is known as a Portuguese sailor and he in 1498 raised at Calicut port of South India. For trade purpose in 17th century, that Indian company, uh, it was from Holland, Danish East India Company, British East India Company and French East India Company were established one by one. So uh, as uh, India in South India, uh, the, uh, the foreign uh, sailors used to uh, develop in trade and commerce, uh, usually uh, from uh, other countries, other foreigners came to India and they started to establish their companies also. And according to uh, our information for trade purpose in 17th century from Holland, uh, some people or some uh, foreigners came to India and established Dutch India Company from um, Danish East India Company. They also established their company in India, which is East India Company and French East India Company. All of these companies were established one by one in uh, according to the uh, purpose of trade and business. Next, silk and many other fine clothes and the different spices of Bengal were the chief attraction of the Europeans. So the question arises why the Europeans came to India and why they wanted to explore their business uh, or trade. Uh, the answer is uh, silk and many other fine cloths used to uh, grow in India uh, in a large portion and that's why from different countries uh, people used to come to India and they want to uh, spread their business. So silk and many other fine cloths and the different spices of Bengal were the chief attraction for the Europeans. From this they used to uh, earn a lot of money and they used to transfer this uh, money to their own countries. France tourist Bernard wrote in 1666 that Dutch sometimes employed seven to eight hundred workers in their silk factory at Kashimbajar. They also mentioned 22,000 bales of silk were produced every year only at Kashimbajar. So, the Bernard, who was a French tourist, he wrote in his writing in 1666 and it was the Dutch sometimes employed seven to eight hundred workers. So, uh, Dutch used to uh, take their employees and the, that employees used to work for 
seven to eight hundred workers in their silk factory at Kashim Bazar. And uh, also he mentioned that from that Kashim Bazar, uh, there are 22,000 bales of silk were produced every year. That means in every year or in one year, uh, they got 22,000 bales of silk from Kashim Bazar. Next, English representative job Charnock brought three villages called Kolkata, Salunok, and Gobindapur from 1200 Taka in 1690, which later known as Kolkata. So, uh, Kolkata now, Kolkata was the formation of Kolkata, uh, Sultan, uh, uh, Sultanate, and Gobindapur. So all these three makes now Kolkata and uh, the person who uh, bring these three was uh, Job Charnok and he was an uh, representative of English. East India Company received the right of business here by making Kuti and got the special permission for tax-free business in Bengal from Delhi's Empire for so uh, we know about the English representatives, about the history of the arrival of European and the expansion of trade in Bengals. And now we'll learn about lesson training the success of colonial power in Bengal. English became gradually ambitious for power. After the death of Nawab Aligarh Khan, his grandson Siraj Dola was crowned Noab at the age of 22. So we know the history of Nawab Shah Judullah. He was the last Nawab of Bengal. And English became gradually ambitious for power. As they have established their uh, business in India, uh, gradually they wanted uh, to the last, for the last of power. And for that, uh, they uh, had a great attraction of the Nawabs. And uh, we know after the death of Nawab Ali Badli Khan, uh, it was Nawab Shiraji Dola, uh, the grandson of Nawab Ali Badli Khan, and he was crowned as Nawab when he was at the age of 22. Shiraji Dola was in difficulty with English power and faced the conspiracy of eldest maternal aunt Kashi Begum, the commander's ship in Mirjapur for Ali Khan, and some other close associates. So not only with English but also with his maternal uh, relatives uh, like uh, his uh, aunt Khashiti Begum, the commander of Chief Major for Ali Khan, they all were in conspiracy against Sriya and he had to fought all this. Shiraj had also to face third opposition and it was a powerful pretty Indian business community. So not only English, not only uh, with his uh, maternal relatives uh, where Shriya had also to face the opposition uh, who was the greedy uh, Indian uh, uh, was involved for the last of power. There are some main results for the success of a foreign country and company. So uh, we know uh, why these foreign, uh, foreigners uh, get succeed in their trade and business. So there are some main reasons for this. Now we will learn about this Reasons. First one is incompetency, internal conflicts, and conspiracy of the local rulers, and Noab's lack of experiences. Noab was, uh, when uh, he got uh, found, he was only uh, 22, and that's why he was not experienced. And for this, his inexperience, he got, he lost his crown. Number two, continuously emerging economy and military force of the English and lack of local rulers, leadership, quality and power to understand the shrewdness. So uh, as he was uh, under the pressure of economy and military force uh, of the English and he, has, uh, uh, he had lack of local rulers, leadership and that's why the foreigners got success. Number three, improved military force, strategy for of war and leadership of the English. And uh, for this military force, uh, strategy of war and leadership of English, uh, the foreigners got their success. And at last, number four, the gap between the rulers and the rule was so widened, widened that the economically exploited and oppressed common people remained inactive in the tussle between the Noab and the English. The indifference of the common people gave an advantage to the English. As uh, Nawab Shirajudullah was the ruler, uh, but there were a gap 
between the rulers and the oppressed, that means uh, who ruled and whom they ruled. There were a uh, gap between them and that's why uh, the foreigners who came from other countries got success. So this four was the main reason why uh, the foreigners country or company got success. And students, that's the discussion for our today, uh, lesson two and three. And now I'm providing your homework. Your homework will be the question, what are the main reasons for the success of foreign company? I'm repeating, what are the main reasons for the success of foreign company? So you can write these four points uh, for this answer. Students, don't forget to write the lecture number and homework number at the top of the corner of your homework copy our lecture number is two and homework number is also two that's all for today students hope you have understood to this topic keep practicing at home and abide by your parents stay well and see you again till then allah hafiz assalamu alaikum <laughs>